Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and here we are in December. Turn time that to times three was shall we for now. But yeah, first of all we got a few things to do before we could start doing any kind of plow work. Because I want to get the mega field plowed today at the very least. Obviously we've got until what February before we have to plant the cotton. Yeah, so I've got a couple of months yet. However, I don't know what the weather's going to be like. Currently, it's nice and sunny, but it can easily change very quickly. And apparently, we've got a nice winter. No. Wait a minute, I want to check the season sex. I'm pretty sure I had. Okay. Alright, I don't know why that was on like that. Yes, yeah, snow's on, season's on. So yeah, not sure on that, but anyways, we got a bunch of milk here that we're going to sell. And I'm just in here, 4,000 years, and how's our TMR production doing? Not too bad. So yep, yeah, since last time we've seen each other, I have been moving things about to different silos and all that. TMR has been moved a bit. Haven't moved to hay yet, which is full. I think it's only another 20,000 years left or so that needs doing so we can always deal with that later on but yep yeah, I'm gonna send you to there that's because once again we got a bunch of pads to sell including mainly eggs so we got 37,000 years of eggs along with some cake, some canoe oil, a little bit of flour 13,000 years of butter. Uh, I don't know what's that popping up for. Absolutely no idea. Oh, oh no, that egg pad's going to come off. Oops. Come on, take it, take it. Oh no. Oh well, we'll go and grab that egg pallet. But yeah, let's see how much we can get from this. If I had to guess. Eh, probably around a hundred grand mark again once more. Also, I've adjusted the production chains as well, so things like the flour and that will get redistributed once more to the farm supply production again and be used to make cakes. So, just like tweak things here and there. A lot of it is on sale. I know if we kept the pallets, we could always make a bunch more money, but. For the time being, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, bugger. Oh, that's going to be a few things. That's going to need... Well, we'll get the cloths up here, I think. that up. Pick you up. Already 137 grand. And the rest of the X. And there is the milk. That is a hundred and fifty seven hundred and sixty three four grand there. Not too shabby. The cows eating more to more, not really. Now time to sell some milk. Let's move that. Oh no. So that was 250 quid there for those X. Oh no, still there. What's that selling? Let's go and grab the cloths. Where's that tool? Oh, 
I will go and pick those eggs up. So that was 18 grand for the milk. Not too bad of a price. Thought we've gone a bit harder than that, but and there six cakes off I've left the Phoenix and it's automatic the engine switched off. Could be that, not too sure, but anywho, so yeah. 370, I think by the time we got everything sorted. That puts us in a very good position. Almost able to afford a new combine harvester. There we go. Another 2,000 litres of eggs. Yeah, I thought so. So a bit of milk left to sell. Four percent left. Oh yeah, three eighty four. Yeah. And that ain't too bad. Again, overall. And I think hey, we are going to upgrade the combine. We don't need it now, so whilst we still got it about, let's sell it. Because we ain't going to do anything harvest-wise, so let's just grab the combine. And we'll sell this. Maybe get about 100 grand all in all for this. Take us to the shop and we'll sell this. And there's convoy. So we'll just go and sit back into the shop. May have to scoot it in there a little bit. There we go. Hopefully I'll pick that up. So repair, repaint. Four hundred eighty-seven grand in total. So yeah, was that about a hundred grand, give or take, in profit? Because there are some harvesters that would like. I think really, that ah, that is nice. But it's 8,000 litres for the header. And another 88 grand if you want to get a corn header or anything like that. And easily we can make that money right now. Actually, how are the pellets doing? Oh boy, 130,000 litres in there. Plus another 150. Not 50, 100 or so thousand litres in storage. 113,000 litres plus. Actually, you know what? Yeah, 180,000 litres of pets there, so. Oh, you know what? Let's just set that to sell. Get rid of bulk of it now. Oh boy! That is some nice moolah. Ooh, 800 grand. That's enough for the combine on all that, so... What about a forage harvester? Again, it's just treating ourselves, so... And there's nothing wrong with that. Harvest grass. Ooh, some nice options there for us. But, yep. Yeah. Actually, one thing I do want to buy is... Hopefully, I've got it installed. Is a new herbicide sprayer. Ozzy. Actually, wait, wait a minute. What's the difference in that? 
Oh, it's just bigger capacity. So that can do lime. Lime and fertilizer. And that could do liquid fertilizer and herbicides. Tempted. I am very tempted indeed. Yeah, so I've got the hardy sprayer pack installed. So it's just these really we can go with. And yes, there's the option for the unreal capacity. And I just have a whole shift in color palette. What's that? It's painting. Man, even paints the hoses, all the connectors, and that. That is sick, that is. I think. I know we just bought. Oh, where is it to? Fertilizer spreader and that, but I am very tempted. So many options. So that's going to be about 520. And if we go with. Five twenty, six twenty, seven hundred, seven fifty. All right, that's good to know in advance. So, but anyways, need to grab the fence. Enough dreaming over what we can possibly buy. I think we'll keep this production until February. Whatever pets is produced will sell at the end of it. If there's any wood chips left in, you know what? So be it. Oh no. You know what? Let's just do it now. Let's sell this. Got a ton of pets there, so. Already. And uh, where's the claws? Get back so far and move that pallet a sec. There we go. Let's grab that and move that over. Grab the fence. Move you out of the way. And we'll put in the basic one in, so under productions. Even with the money, we do, did talk about getting our own BG in, so there's still that. Furniture. Where's the carpentry? Or is it just base game? I think it is base game. Fair enough. There we go, so triggers there. Everything spawns at the back, so that's one thing to consider, so thinking something like that. There we go. Got a bit of space there, so. No, not greenhouses or anything like that. We can do that. Make some donuts. Oh, you know what? Heck it, why not? Yeah, not yet. We'll find a better space for it. It's, it's a bit cramped over there. 
So we'll leave that for now, but that reminds me, we'll go over here. Distribute that. So all of these planks can go in there. I'll go around the corner. And turn you on. Set you to distribute for now so you don't get anything spawn in. But yeah, that's a lot better. Look at that. Planks. It requires a thousand litres a month. No, sorry. Yeah, a thousand litres a month, so. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be bottlenecks, I know, but we're doing nothing. So, you know what? Let's get all these planks, actually. And get them moved over, shall we? So, yeah. The best way to do that is a good old fashioned time lapse, so, yeah. Get yeah, it's done. And then we'll start doing work, start working on the mega fields. to the plowing and I did buy a second carpentry basis because we was going to be very bottlenecked I think even still we'll need a third one to keep up with everything but two that's good enough for me just finished putting pavement down and yeah it's just this plow it's difficult to get a nice straight line out of it so oh well I'll just curve it up here. I uh, see so that looks very nice. Just doing the perimeter, just judging where you want this. Have a bit of nice undulations. Man, even oof. Man, even the fence shrugs in. Yikes! There, okay, that's better. Sort of, not really. Well, we'll clear that up. But now it's back onto more of a smoother level ground. Oh no, I don't like that. I do not like the angle of that. That's better. Just get those curves in, get those undulations. I think about there. Oh, yeah. Now I've got to be careful when we plant. So let's go back. Let's get the ass end over. And should be right. Looks like it. Oh, and you what heck is? Boy field 60, shall we? Now this is going to be a super duper fun. Mega field, so uh, I'm not gonna bother cutting the grass, I'm just gonna go straight into it or not. Oh, uh, 
yeah, it's going to be a few trees we need to get rid of. And you know what, that'll be fine by me. Now, this is going to be a mega field. A super duper mega field. I think about there is right. There are you. That's it. Ugh. What's that line like? There we go, that's better. So plan is go here all the way around around join these fields up and then scoot over and plow all of this up here. Yes, it could be own this but I'm not going to do that. Also I need to think about putting a track in. Actually that rock, how we get rid of that or just level up the train. Oh we can. Should have done ages ago. Oh well, now it's done. So yeah, it is gonna take some work to do, so I think the best way to get this all done, as always, is the old fashioned time lapse just smashing it all out. But man, this is gonna be our biggest cotton harvest yet. Biggest I've ever done, for sure at least. What does that have to be cotton? This could be a grain. Oats. Yeah, we could do like oats or something in this field. Get a use out of our new combine harvester that we're gonna get. And then those two fields over there and we'll need plowing anyways. They could be cotton. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Okay, may have gone over to the boundaries there. Not to worry. And just enjoy this lovely sunrise. It's going to be, of course, a short day now, which I didn't realise because of the month I had some to July for some reason. Maybe I've done a few episodes ago for a thumbnail on that whilst I was unwell on that and just completely forgot about it. Ooh, okay. Nope, go back over. That's it. So yeah, we'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks most likely in the afternoon.
And there we go. The field has been plowed. The ultra mega field has been done. And also, I spent some money. One on a new truck, which we'll have a look at in a sec. But, first of all, just tidy up the areas around here. Just literally got the decoration tool out. Tidy it up. Yeah, I know there's some little notches. I will finally pick that, hopefully. And just sort of smoothing out the areas. And even over here as well, where we had that nasty little curve. Yeah, some field did get removed, but overall, I think it was worth it indeed. And it looks so much better now. It just looks a lot more tidier now. But first of all, we have to get rid of some of these logs here, and... How is the sawmill doing? Go up here, have a look at our two sawmills. And there are many sawmills, got nothing in there, so we may take these up there. So the mini sawmill's got butt kiss. And that one's got wolf. Right, main sawmill it is. There we go. Just attach those on. And we'll drag these over. But yeah. Mega field is done. I should have a quick look at that. So, of course, you can't pan out and fly around like you can on PC, but that's plot 57. That's our original field. A bit of it plowed up. Loops around the trees. Rejoins. Got the rock picker over there ready to do some fast farming, rock picking. And just a nice little curve going up and around and then up towards the edge in the map back down to the bottom corner onto the edge and just look at that that is some nice undulating mega field and that actually might be the title of this episode along the lines of that Just, yeah, that is a beaut. Just imagine all this being oats. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do oats, not cotton. These two fields will be cotton. So it's pretty much the same as our old... Yeah, pretty much what we got from that sign was pretty much the same amount with these two fields combined. Got a grass field over here. May look at getting enough plot land so we could do definitely three fields. So one here, one down there, and then maybe one over here. But I do want to get that paving back in. Obviously, that's the original paving, obviously, we're gone over that, but. I know technically we don't own this, but I will take some liberties of just going over. Because I didn't do it with the field. But I will make take some liberties of just flowing it across and then straight out of here. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a bit. Let's go and drag these logs over. I need some chunky logs, these are. Definitely fill up the sawmill a fair bit. And yeah, these flying somewhere, hopefully. Plant some more trees down. Maybe do some more, like, plant trees around here and there, but. I think I'm almost on to, I think this is year three, going to year four. So, roll. Not doing too bad so far. That's double that. And now... 
So we had this in the used market, this crusher trader thing. I thought, oh nice, get that. Spent 12 grand trying to reconfigure this. However, it doesn't go onto the Phoenix. It goes into the Phoenix AgroWorks. Basically, all this would do is it could crush logs, sugar beet, and stones, was it? So, yeah. Crush all that, and then whatever is left over after being crushed comes out this spout. So, this cost us a hundred grand. Cheaper than the rock crushing trailer that we was on about getting well, not rock crushing, the beat car trailer, so you know what? I am not gonna make any complaints about that, because that's actually quite useful. But anyways, that's gonna be maybe in the next episode we'll deal with those sugar beets. Cause when is it a good time to sell sugar beet cut? So it looks like January, February. Ignore the prices. That was the yeah. We'll talk about as such. I think the accidental inflation in prices or some stuff. And yeah, got forty-two thousand liters of wood chips there, which we will sell because we can't. I'm glad because it was getting quite OP with it all. And even now, that is a monster. So. You know what? I'm going to set you to storing. Because these are still at capacity, so... I'm going to let that trickle down. Ooh, another pack of clues. Good thing to add to the collection. And where is the vent? There she is. And I think it's time to do some rock picking to round off the episode here. Yeah, I'll put it times six, five, three, something like that. Just one time back what I sort of was focusing on landscaping, so that's why times was on point five. Nope. Just drop. There we go, that's nice. And now, rock picking. Get some lime out of it. Or, can we use that to make gold? it to here. Yet yeah, gold production requires stones, water and methane. And methane requires sugar beet and all that good stuff. That goes in there. Methane gas comes out there. Hmm. Definitely something to look into perhaps. But anyway, so hopefully this works. There we go. Unfold this. Because I did try to use this, see if we could do a bit of cheeky fast farming with the plow. No, you can't. And there we go. We are fast farming. Fast farming, rock picking. Here we come. Yes, maybe we missed some little bits here and there. Most of the rocks will get rolled back in anyways, but I thought, got this. Haven't used it with the last couple of fields and that, so... Get some cheeky rocks in. Especially when we plough up the other field that needs ploughing. We're going to get some even bigger stones like that, some bigger rocks, so... Look at that, already 10% almost. Ah, 
that is nice. So I think what we'll do is continue on with this. See where we go afterwards. And yeah, so I'll see you folks when we are done with the rock picking. Well, a significant part of the rock picking done. Didn't do all of it, it was such a faff. I could even work on doing it, but it would take a while, so I think in future when we rock pick further what, fields and that, especially if we do any big, big mega fields like this, we'll definitely consider hiring a worker early on, get the plowing done as early as possible. Yeah, I could leave the worker doing this, but it was going over bits that I've already done. It was just wasting a lot of time and effort. So let's get this into position. So wood chip zones and sugar beet. What happens if we put stone in? Just out of interest. Oh, comes out of slime. You know what? I can live with that. Not sure what the ratios is, but well, definitely worth it. And we'll just get the shoe beats loaded up in this for the next episode. So, yeah, we have a look. And here's our mega fields, like literally double the size of our farm over that. We're not including that, that's just what to do with the start of the series, so. Oh boy, that's going to be a big grain field of oats. And definitely when you think about creating little, little uh, this other plots of land. Trying to get my voice out here today on Monday morning as I was recording this bit of the episode. Everything else was done on Friday, but yeah, I think if you buy 46, we could go there and there. If we get, let's say, purchase half of this, so say that's about half or 60%, so 8.5 times 6, whatever that is, thousands, so. Yeah, possibilities. I do want to get over here at some point because I do want to explore this area over here. Because I do want to get some orchards in, some grapes, some olives. But that's going to be further down the road as we look into this. But in terms of the actual stones now, if we have a look here. 
in the grand scheme of things, you barely picked up anything. Like, yeah, about a quarter of this field, and then these and these. I'll say that's about 15 20 percent. So, a lot of students are there. So, they did try to get some of these more red ones, but couldn't do that. That's so that's still filling up. So, I may have actually bought the bigger capacity one of that. So, does this need spraying? No, don't be spraying on the body, so that's fine. Feels all good, fully fertilized in that, so. I need to. get the plow hooked onto this. And we'll get ready for the next episode. Alright, okay. Yeah, I'll get the plow hooked up in that. Get ready to plow these two fields in the next episode. So I'm thinking we do cotton on yeah, we do cotton on these two fields. And then if we expand us just a little bit more over here. That'll help us a lot. Have access to these trees here. Ooh, and these. Nice. I'll say we can clear this bit. Keep all of these trees, but have a little field over here. Try to see what the paving needs to do there. But also, we could definitely look about upgrading cow pens. Because which one was I looking at earlier? Oh, this one here. That is nice. Obviously, pretty massive. Get a rough scale of it, so if we get to the end of the pay concrete pave on the left, it goes about there, so it is quite huge. Got this one here as well. Bit longer. But it's bought a bit of more of a round shape. That does 400 cows. And this. Oof. Yeah. Tempted. I am tempted by that, but. It's way of blending it all in. Like. Yeah, missing not much sighting and detail has gone into this farm now. But it sort of looks right. It, has its own place, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, where do I leave that plow to? Four left over here. Oops. Fence. Whoa. Six, uh, six landing. Pretty sure I did see the plow just now. Somewhere, where is that tool? Ah, over there. Fair enough. So, go and get us over there and hook it up. And we'll just get that hooked up. Get that ready to go. Would it be worth just merging these two plots? Yeah, well, could be, but again, it's like this area here is how to blend that in. Perhaps go because do the right wrangle looks a bit weird. You know what? You know what? We'll leave it. It gives that good turning space around for our equipment and that. But even this just it bit, this bit here, we can use. So now we can still go down this bit here where it's been tidy up and get around, so. Oh, what heck it. Maybe a bit of an awkward angle, but. Get those extra litres of cotton and all that, so. I'm thinking. First back. Back to there. And there we go. Ask us Macy, do we get any stones from this? 
no stones so far. But there we go, we got these chunkier rocks picking up now, so. Definitely get sorted. But yeah, no small rocks coming up, or maybe some, but not a lot. But I'm I am not going to merge these these two fields together in any time in the future, because we are going to expand up northwards. Because we pretty much cut off the hand on this corner of the map, so I'll just slow it down, straighten it up. And like so. Yeah, over time I'll go around the landscape tour, get rid of all these like stuck in there. Ouch hurts. But these bits here like tidies up, finesse it a bit. And if we go into the stones section. Yep, yeah, see not a lot of stones, but obviously that was just from the two or sides of the fields. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, we'll get that all plowed up. Get this converted into sugar beet. Cut. And... Yeah, make it a mod in. To make some more sugar in that. And got a few bits to move over. Like these are doing really well at the moment still, so... Leave those be. We'll move some of these planks into the storage. And then in next episode or the one afterwards, I think, well, perhaps February, we will have a little look at selling these pellets because there is a ton of pellets to sell still. Like 180,000 litres of pellets to sell. But, anyways. That's where I'm going to leave it. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for just to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.